Internet Explains channel, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. In the previous videos, we've talked about the different kinds of functions and so about the different relationships in changes in the independent and dependent variables or x and y variables. This time, we will deal with a function which differs primarily from all types of functions we have learned in the rate of change in y as x increase from a unit to another unit. This involves a rapid increase or decrease in y as x changes. And this sort is called exponential function. An exponential function with base b is a function of the form f of x equals b to the x or y equals b to the x where b is greater than 0 aside from 1. That is, while the base b can be any positive number, it cannot be 1. Notice that one distinguishable feature of an exponential function is that the independent variable, which is usually x, is an exponent. Notice that. Example 1. In her laboratory, Ms. Cortez, a microbiologist, found that the population of a certain bacteria increases every hour according to the pattern f of t equals 3 to the t, where t is the number of hours and f of t is the number of bacteria. If at the start there is only a bacterium, help Ms. Cortez record the number of bacteria for every hour. The given equation in example 1, f of t equals 3 to the t, follows the exponential form f of x equals b to the x, where b is equal to 3. Helping Ms. Cortez record the number of bacteria as time goes on, we'll arrive at this table of values, where t refers to the number of r's, the independent variable, and the dependent variable will be f of t, or the number of bacteria. That will be the second row. We'll write the values uh, of t in the first row. That's t equals 0, t equals 1, t equals 2, and so on. And then to compute for the number of bacteria, we'll use this formula or the given equation. We will just substitute the values of t to this exponent and then solve for 3 to the t. That will be the value of f of t or y. Let us begin. If this t is equal to 0, then this will become 3 to the 0. And any number that is raised to 0 is equal to 1. So if t is 0, f of t is 1. If that t is equal to 1, this will become 3 to the first power equals 3 of course. If t is equal to 2, that's 3 squared equals 9. Then, 3 cubed equals 27. 3 to the 4th equals 81. 3 to the 5th equals 243, and so on. Notice that as x increase by one unit only, that is constant, the number of bacteria, or y, increase rapidly. For the first pair, the difference is 2 only. Notice that in the second pair, 9 minus 3, it becomes 6. For the third pair, it is 18. So the difference continuously increase. The y value increase rapidly. So example 1 is an example of an exponential function. You just saw the behavior of an exponential function in example 1. The exponential function f of x equals b to the x can be transformed to f of x equals a times b to the x minus c plus b, where a, c, and d are all real numbers and b still is greater than zero but cannot be one. You will see an application of this transformation in the next example. Example 2. The population in Town G is 7,000 in September 2021. It is noted that it is continuously decreasing, primarily due to weak implementation of measures to combat COVID-19 at a rate of 2% monthly. What is the projected population of Town G in May 2022? Let us have the solution. Let T be the number of months and f of t be the projected population. 
So in the beginning, that is in September 2021, when t is equal to 0, f of t is 7,000, the projected population. After a month, of course, when t is equal to 1, which is in October 2021, the value of f of t will be the population in September, a month ago, multiplied by the rate of decrease, which is 100% minus 2%, or 1 minus 0 0.02. In November 2021, when t is equal to 2, f of t will be the projected population in October, multiplied again by the rate of decrease, which is 1 minus 0 0.02. In December 2021, if t is equal to 3 or when t is equal to 3, the projected population is the population in November multiplied again by 1 minus 0 0.02. Notice that there is a pattern between the value of t and the number of times 1 minus 0 0.02 uh, is being multiplied by 7,000. If t is equal to 1, 1 minus 0 0.02 is used as a multiplier once. If t is equal to 2, that factor is used twice. If t is equal to 3, 1 minus 0 0.02 is a factor thrice. In short, the exponential model for this problem is the projected population f of t is equal to 7,000, that is a constant, multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.02 raised to the t power, this is determined by the value of t, or since we can get the difference between these two, this can be rewritten as, this whole can be rewritten as f of t equals 7,000 times 0 0.98 raised to the t. The exponential model in the problem, which is f of t equals 7,000 times 0 0.98 to the t power, follows the transformation of the exponential function f of x equals b to the x. The transformation is f of x equals a times b to the x minus c plus d. In the exponential model, a is equal to 7,000. b is equal to 0 0.98 c is equal to 0, and d is also equal to 0. Now, going back to the problem, we would like to solve for the projected population or the value of f of t if, if t is May 2022. So in May 2022, t is equal to a. And this exponential model will become f of 8 equals 7,000 times 0 0.98 to the 8th power. For us to solve this, we will use the PEMDAS rule, which tells us that we need to simplify first the part with the exponent. So before multiplying this by 7,000, use your calculator to solve for 0 0.98 raised to the 8th power. And you'll get 0 0.8508. This is rounded to the nearest 10,000th digit. Now, when you multiply these two factors, you'll get, you'll get or the approximate value of f of 8 is 5,955.34 or 5,955. This will be the projected population in May 2022 in Town G. You see, an exponential function can make big changes in a small span of time. You will encounter exponential relationships also in half-life problems, or exponential decays, compound interests, natural exponential functions, among others. I hope you learned from our lesson today. Until next time!